Waiting for my father to be late home from surfing, my mother would cut the sky to ribbons. Each Sunday, she would take her sewing outside and lay it on the glass table and with the kitchen scissors, tear silver through the fabric. I would lie under the table and with each precise injury, the cloth bled sunlight all over me. She was always one of the wise women from the end of the world, picking apart all she created. She would never turn her head to see if he had come through the door. Okay. My husband's still in Australia, so I'm gonna read a poem about him because I miss him. Okay. <laughs> this is called Marriage. My husband holds me to him like a clamshell, arms clenched on like barnacles to the jetty at Point Walter. It is 4 a.m. and I cannot sleep, and he has settled his weight around me, sandbags keeping out the tide. His rib cage on my back opens and closes with a surety that forces my breath with his. On our bedside table is the tea he made me at 3 a.m. Next to that, a wedding picture, his eyes clear and unflinching. When I fall asleep at 5 a.m., it is with the knowledge that if I stop breathing in my sleep, he will be able to breathe for both of us. Okay. Um, and this is kind of an elegy I wrote in the aftermath of the Christchurch earthquakes down in my hemisphere uh, earlier this year. It's called Aftershock, it's in four parts. One, the skull of a nine-month-old is no harder than a melon with wobbly fishes that can only balance momentarily on the atlas and this is all there is to cradle all that potential. Two, an infant's casket differs from an adult's in that the wooden box is heavier than what remains of the body, the weight of all that empty air enough to suffocate a church full. Three, did you know the word for children's teeth is deciduous? They are the leaves of the mouth that fall only at the beginning of life's second season. Four, after the earthquake, that small body in that white box had not had the time to unfurl even one leaf. And it's hard to believe it took so much to destroy so little a thing. Thank you.